help. You can't do that, man. You really can't do Absolutely that. Absolutely, I can. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, he is. Do what you got to do, go on okay. and me up. Police officers take pride in their reputation and in the work they do. Even after hours of training, some cops continue to do dumb things. I blew zero, so now you're trying to think I smoke weed. Let us take a look at times when dumb cops got owned. If you fail well, to provide I... your documentation, you can be placed under arrest for You think so? Oh, I know so. First, we've got something that went viral recently. A boy driving home got pulled over by the side of the road because he had bright headlights on, and cops claimed it was illegal to drive with them on. Remember because you have your bright lights on? Yeah, I have a, I have a headlight out, so I just keep my brights on. Okay, well that's not legal. Oh, is it? No. You got your license registration insurance, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, I got you. The police and the boy had a conversation for a while, and the police decided to take a sobriety test. Perfect. We're gonna go back here, okay? Cool. You don't have anything on you, no bombs, guns, drugs. Then things got interesting. We can see in the video, police took the test kit and did the breath analyzer test. Um, so I'm gonna read your Miranda, okay? When's it? But as the boy did not drink, it showed zero. After a while, we can see the police asking whether the boy had smoked weed or not. When's the last time you smoked weed? I do not remember that. Okay, well I was no I, weed tonight, I think right? it's tonight. I've had no weed tonight. The boy answered he did not smoke weed tonight. Later, the boy was put in jail, and when he was released, he posted a video on Facebook talking about other people's experiences with the same police department. I don't want to do that now. I want to go home. You okay. wasted waste my time. Turn Wait. Turn the bunch back. He also mentioned that he would work towards exposing the cops, and it would uplift the situation in other towns as well. This incident happened in May 2019, when a police officer questioned a man who claimed to have helped the rider falling off the bike. But the rider said that the man did not help him with anything, and the police began to question him, but he refused to answer, saying it was his constitutional right. These guys saw what happened, I didn't. Okay, not if you're not talking to anybody, you can leave. Well, you can well, leave. No. You're dismissed. We no. can't leave. You, we can't leave. I'm not leaving. Okay, then come and talk to no, me. No, I'm not going to come talk to you. We can see from the video the man refused to answer while three police officers took the man to the ground and arrested him for obstructing the police officer. His shoulder was injured during the pushover, but later investigation determined that the witness had not committed a crime and that the officer was not justified in arresting him. It's two officers who have checked him and I loosened him. And I want to talk to your okay. right now, not right. when I get He'll to the shop. He's He'll here. be at the yeah. According to the memo, Tice recommended more training and a written warning for the officer. Later, the man's attorney said the city of Cleveland was paying out a hefty $290,000 to settle the lawsuit. A man was taking videos of a building when a police officer came in and asked him for his ID. Somebody calling in about suspicious, we need to at least identify who it is we spoke to. You're not in trouble in any way. No, I, okay, then I don't need to give ID. Well, you do. Well, what law is that? What law is I'm that? I'm investigating a crime. It's actually called obstruction if you fail to provide Wrong. documentation. But he refused to give his ID several times, and he asked the police officer, what law is that? And the policeman answered, you identify as a suspicious person. The man claims he was taking pictures, and the police continuously asked him to show ID until a senior police officer came by. When the sergeant asked him what he's doing here, he said he was just taking pictures and came here to file a complaint. Video of those areas. Absolutely. Other than that, if you want to walk around with your camera, you can walk around with your camera. And I don't need to show ID to do that. You don't have to show ID right now, no sir. All right, sir. How's that? Well, that's incorrect, uh, 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 actually, in that respect. Oh, is okay. it? Is it? It's so your sergeant's wrong. You so your source. sergeant's wrong. The sergeant explained that you can't take videos of certain areas of this building and can walk freely with a camera. The sergeant said there would be no issue here, and he was free to go. The other police officer stood there silently, and the man mockingly said to him, "Hope you learned something today." This happened when two female officers came and questioned a guy sitting in his car parked in a parking lot. What's going on? What's going on with you? Well, we just got a phone call. The officers claimed that they came to check on him after getting a call of suspicion. The officers asked him all sorts of questions and said since the car was covered, they suspected whether he was carrying any guns. An officer later said they just wanted to know if he was okay. Even though after knowing he was clean, the officers kept asking him questions and he answered multiple times he was not doing anything illegal there. Then why? I get a call. We're just coming to check no, on no. Sure no, 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 it's before you're just coming to check on me. You got a call. He also mentioned the officers gave themselves a right to decide what's normal in society. After a bit of lessons from the guy, the female cops left him alone. Cops stopped a guy as they thought he was carrying a gun. Cops thought he was carrying a firearm and could harm someone. There. Hey. What's this in your back 
pocket. What's the problem? You a tyrant? Yeah, I am actually. What's your name and date of birth? The officer asked him his name and date of birth. When he said he couldn't ask these questions without any warrant, the officer replied it was part of an investigation. Later, he showed that he was carrying just a navigational aid and the cops were wrong. Am I detained? Yeah, you are. What's your name and date of birth? But unfortunately, he got arrested even when carrying a walking stick. The man later made a public statement claiming he was allowed to do what he was doing. This is not a weapon. This is an aid to a man. His attorney said the encounter could have ended when he pulled out the walking stick as it was a navigational aid for a legally blind man. He also said that it is law in Florida to resist unlawful orders and he did the right thing to fight back. Things got a little interesting when a little kid showed his middle finger to Corporal Michael Prish as he was driving around the neighborhood. Why are you giving me the finger? Why are you giving me the finger? Am I free to go? No. Come for here. what reason? Why are you giving me the finger? I'm free to go. He stopped the car and asked the kid why he showed him the hand sign. In an attempt to detain him, the kid started walking away, claiming he didn't do anything wrong. Get over here. What? Get over here. I'm not doing anything illegal. Yeah, you are. You just cursed me off. It turns out that a person can't be arrested for showing a middle finger, as giving the finger is protected under your First Amendment right to freedom of speech. That's legal. No, it isn't. Says who? Says it all. Pull up the law. Huh? Pull up the law. What's your name? What's the law? What's your What's name? The law? What's your name? The corporal chased the kid as he started to walk away. The kid continuously asked, pull up the law. How can a cop make laws which are not already there? The cop followed him to make up his shattered image. Things got interesting when the corporal turned off his body camera. The kid started to scream for help when the corporal tried to detain him. He turned on his body camera when his backup arrived at the scene. That's not legal. It is legal. He's allowed to How detain you kid? until he performs his so investigation. So what am I doing though? Both the officers continued to question the kid. After a deep argument, the officers let the kid go as they realized there were no laws to arrest the kid. Although the kid must not have shown the hand sign in the first place, the corporal should have just warned him and left him alone. A nurse at a Salt Lake City hospital denied police officers to draw blood from an unconscious patient. But things took a wild turn. <laughs> at the beginning of the video, we can see the nurse reading hospital policies to the police officer that blood could not be drawn without the patient's consent or a warrant. Then the police officer forces her outside and cuffs her. We all deserve to know the truth, and the truth comes out when you see the actual raw footage, and that's what's happened in my case, Wobbles told reporters on Tuesday. No matter how truthful I was in telling my story, it was nothing compared to what people saw and the visceral reaction people experienced when watching the footage of the experience that I went through. After she was released, she filed a lawsuit against the police department. Later, the lawsuit got settled for $500,000 for the damages caused. A kid who was riding his bicycle on the footpath got questioned by a police officer. The police officer came up and said, you cannot ride your bicycle here. You can't ride your bikes down here. You can pass that word along. I'll keep people from complaining to me and I won't come talk to you. Is there a law change? What's that? Is there a law change? Yeah, you can't ride your bikes on the boardwalk. When is that law change? But to his surprise, the kid started questioning his rights. And then he quoted various laws which allowed him to ride a bicycle on the footpath. The officer asks, where did you get your law degree from? From Facebook? So did you get your law degree on Facebook or where did you actually obtain that? So do I have to have a, a law degree to be an informed citizen? Is that what you're saying? It's wrong to be informed. He spoke the truth about officers forcing their opinion and views on people. The kid claimed that he had been riding in these areas for the past six years and no police officers have come and questioned him. Yes, that is harassment. Your opinion is irrelevant. The law states we can ride our bike. Now, do you have anything else to say or are you going to leave us alone? After hearing this, the officer went away silently. Who knew knowing laws could save a kid from trouble? So, guys, that's how you handle a police officer, right? You don't let the cops tell you that you can't do what you know you can do, right? What happens if you stop the director of DPS? Let's find out. Hi, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Deputy with the sheriff's office. Really nice to talk to you. This guy's going about over 90 miles an hour, weaving through traffic, not using you guys' turns. A cop stopped a speeding car overtaking without using signals. The women in the car said they were going to an event. The police officer asked for ID and registration, and after, the cop started moving back to the car to check the information. So it was actually my lady husband, uh, Bruce Harrell, who's a DPS. Oh, really? Same department. 
goodness. The woman called up again and said the man was the director of USDPS and gave him his ID. The police went to check the information and came back and said they were free to go. The director also mentions what happened when another cop stopped him while driving. This is what's called the use of higher authority to get rid of your problems. This happened when a cop caught the attention of Sean who was doing an order to the police department parking. The cop pulls up and asks whether you are looking for someone and he responded that he was just looking around and filming and the cop drove off. No, I'm not looking for anybody. Later, the cops came by again, and things escalated quickly. You're curious? Uh -huh. what, what's your name at that jump, bro? Oh, that's, that's exactly what I'm doing, officer. I'm recording the police vehicles. He said he was curious to know why he was walking around and filming police cars. He answered that he was recording the vehicles. Later, the cop asked him to step aside, and Sean continuously asked him, Am I detained? Suspicion is not a crime. Give me a second. Sure thing. We stay over here by my uh, video camera, please. Stay over where? Right here in front of my video camera. Am I being detained? Right now, I want to find out why you're looking at these cars in case you might be working on the car. Later, the supervisor comes over to say that he can record the cars and do his duty. My name is Officer Poli. 0695. Thank you. And, and the captain you spoke with? Uh, he just said, I, I don't know which captain it was. We just got a, uh, I called, called my lieutenant. He said, the captain said you can walk around with the cars or whatever. Officer Pato Poli, yes, and sir. you sa saved the day because I, <laughs> I didn't know what this guy was going to do, to be honest. Oh, no. Sean assured the supervisor that he did not come by to do any nefarious purposes and that he was a very honest man. The cop went back silently and took pictures of Sean, where Sean mockingly said, what are you going to do with my picture with no name on it? I'll smile for you. I'll smile for you. You'll have a, you'll have a, you'll have a picture with no name. <laughs> a man comes to Minnesota to take pictures and record videos of the surrounding areas. He spotted a fire department and interacted with a couple of people and firemen. A cop pulled over near him on his way to the police station. Is there, can I ask, is there a specific reason for your... Well, there's always a reason, but I'm not going to share it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to be on my way. Have a oh, good day. You're going to stay here for a second. Are you detaining me? Yes. For what reason? The cop began to ask questions to him, and when he asked whether you are detaining him, the cop answered yes. The cop asked him to give him reasons why he was taking pictures and his purpose. But Ryan did not answer, as it is legal not to provide information on anything if someone has signed a non-disclosed information. The cop argued for a while, and his backup arrived when things got out of hand. They both tried to detain him. Detain you in handcuffs? Are you his I supervisor? Nope, I'm the supervisor. Can I get your supervisor, Turn around, please? Put your hands behind your back. This is an illegal detainment. Go to the ground. Put it down. Comply. I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Yes, you are. I am not at all. Forcing him into the ground. He asked the reason for detaining, and the cops responded obstructing, but failed to provide reasonable justification. But he was arrested and sent to jail. After he got released, he filed a lawsuit against the police department and won it. This incident of false arrest cost the police department a $36,000 fine for the damages caused and legal fees. Jennings was doing a neighborly deed of watering his out-of-town neighbor's flowers per their request on May the 22nd. Things got heated when a Childersburg police officer showed up. What you doing here, man? You live here? No, I don't live here. Okay. Uh, they saying that this vehicle is not supposed to be here and you're not supposed to be Who's here. Who's saying it? They called about it. I don't know who I called. Know. I'm supposed to be here. I'm Pastor Jennings. I live across the street. Jennings told the officer in the body camera footage obtained by NPR. A Childersburg police officer approaches Jennings in the 20-minute footage as he is seen on camera watering plants in a yard. When the policeman approaches and inquires what he is doing, Jennings responds, watering flowers. Jennings tells the officers that he did nothing wrong during the confrontation with the officer, which resulted in shouting. Jennings, a former police officer himself, is seen on video placed in handcuffs for not providing the officers with his identification. Hey man, just come here and talk to us. What? What? Just calm down, okay? No, no. Stop. I like this. Okay. The pastor replied that he doesn't live at that house when the police officer asked him later in the video. Police detain Jennings and put him in the back of the police car. They later filed a criminal complaint, accusing him of obstructing official business. After he got released from jail, he filed a lawsuit against the police officers. He asked the jury to hear the case and determine compensatory and punitive damages, as well as money to cover the costs of the lawsuit, including attorney's fees.
A lady got pulled over by two cops. Cops came and asked of her license and registration, but she refused to give them and asked the reason why she was being pulled over. So can I have a reason for why you're pulling me over? Can you have registration insurance? Why are you pulling me over? Card. Why are you pulling me over? In New Jersey, traveling is a privilege. It's not a right. When you go to DMV, but I, I didn't do anything wrong. Me, why are you, why are you pulling? I have, I have the right not to give you my information. The cops responded that she was not wearing her seatbelt. They asked her the same question again, and she refused to give her documents. The woman later said she would press charges against the cops for harassing her, and she said the cops could search the car. No, you're you're harassing me. You're harassing me. And you can search the car. Ma'am. I already give you permission to search the vehicle. I have another video as well. I will be I will be taking this to court. That's fine. I just want your paperwork. The police took down her license plate and went away. It was seen from the videos that the cops were not wearing a camera at the time of the incident. Did you ever get pulled over by a cop? Let us know your experiences in the comments section below. Like, share and subscribe and turn on notifications to get the latest video updates. See you soon. Goodbye.